Hello and welcome to another video on Pydini doing stuff and filming it. Uh, we're going to do some product reviews tonight because, well, I haven't done any in a while. Today we've got these three things. Let's have a look at them, shall we? Alright, so what have we got here? Well, we've got three things. I picked them up from Thingy Bobs in Ely uh, today. Um, me and my partner had gone into town uh, to run an errand and we decided to have a bit of a wander around the shops as well. So we needed a few bits for the house. And whilst I was there, we ended up in Thingamabobs looking for a washing, bucket, a washing basket. <laughs> washing basket and some uh, carpet cleaner. Anyway, they have a nice tool section and me being me, I sort of wandered into it and just picked a few bits out. Now, I have got one or two of this brand of tools, Rolson. They're not only sold at Thing and Bobs. I've seen them in the co-op before, and supermarkets like Asda. They're just generally cheap household tools. There's nothing special about them, but yeah, I like them. I have a screwdriver set which you've probably seen me use quite a few times on my other videos. That's a Rolson one. I've had it years, and it's it's brilliant. I use it all around the house on my cars, everything. So I can't fault them. And I got these few little bits here and there. Um, I don't know what I've done with the receipt. Where's the receipt? Um, yeah, um, what's that? Savers. We went now. Wilco. Of course, I went to fucking Wilco. I always go to Wilco. Uh, is this thing my bobs? Okay, here we go. Thing my bobs. So here we go. Six piece wire brush set was two ninety nine. Two piece bit holder. This thing was three seventy nine. And then the ten in one. Multi tool was three forty nine, so yeah, less than four pound for of these. Oh, and I also got myself a, a can of iced coffee, which was actually very nice. I should have done a review on that as well, but I've junk it now. Never mind. Right, let's have a look. Now we are going to start with the multi tool. The reason being is these two have come in that really annoying plastic packaging that can't be opened except with scissors. And the scissors are downstairs, and it's getting late at night as I'm recording this. I want to get this done. So we'll start with the multi-tool, and, well, that all can be part of the product test, see if it can open these two things. So slide those out of the way. Let's have a look at this one first. So, um, yeah, Rawson manufactured with rubber inserts and stainless steel attachments. 10 function multi-tool, RawsonTools.com. And we'll turn it over, and oh, we've got a QR code. Looks like it goes to a Facebook page, and oh, that's the same again. Manufactured rubber inserts and stainless steel attachments. Includes knife, scissors, yep, nail cleaner, nail file, bottle opener, can opener, cross point screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, key ring, and corkscrew. Does that count as 10 then? Mm. Okay, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's cheating a bit. They're counting the fucking key ring as the tenth function. Oh, oh, that doesn't count. Oh, I'm not taking that. It's a nine function multi tool. I'm sorry. The key ring does not count as a tool. I suppose, yeah, they're not saying ton t ten tool. They're saying 10 function, I suppose. Oh, no, no, we're not having that. Crossing that out. No, no. That doesn't count. <laughs> That's cheating. Uh, all right, what else is it? Always wear protection when using hand tools. It's a fucking tiny pen knife. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, here we go. Packaging. Uh, yeah, card. Yeah, widely recycled. And then we've got this little plastic bit that sits in. Also widely recycled. At least here in the UK it is anyway. Right, let's see if we can get this open. There's a little perforation in the cardboard here, so do we? Oh no, okay, let's just have a look. I'll cock it, I'll go get the fucking scissors. <laughs> Right, all the way down to the kitchen, got my heavy duty scissors. Let's just cut it across there. And 
front. Yeah, there was no way I was getting that perforation open with just my fingers. I would need another knife. Right. There we go. All right, okay. Interesting. It has a nice feel to it. What drew me to it was, well, I just, I like knives, but also it just, it looked nice. I liked the colour. I liked the soft, slight curved shape of it. So I just bought it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, interestingly, this red bit is metal. I suspect aluminium by the feel of it, but it's not cold to the touch. These bits here are, they feel soft, but if you press them in, they are quite hard bits of rubber. Okay. All right, let's have a look. So, we've got the key ring, which is apparently a tool. Not sure it counts. So we've got the knife there. That is, uh, what length is that? Is, do, 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 do. That is, call it two inches, just under. Actual, yeah, two inches, call that four and a half, well, five centimetres total length from the tip right to the edge here. Actual cutting surface is, yeah, an inch and a half. Fine. I'm not looking to murder anyone with this tiny pen knife. So, got a bit of a point on it. Mm, does not feel sharp at all. That is about as blunt as a kitchen knife. Yeah, well, I'm just... There is... Yeah. Okay. Right, all right let's move on. Um, I do have a grinder somewhere. That could sharpen it with. It's a bit coarse though, it tends to damage pen knife metal. Yeah, I might need to change the wheel out on it, but okay. Whatever, I paid less than four quid for it. Scissors, these are fairly standard pen knife. Scissors, you have the little spring here to help you work them. Let's try let's try cutting something up. Well, we've got a, an envelope here and we're gonna throw away. They work quite well. Hmm. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. They spring back nicely. What I've had sometimes with pen knife scissors is you press them in and then they seem to get stuck even with the little bar here, the little spring designed to push them out. But yeah, those were quite easy to use and they cut quite well. Compare that to the actual knife. I'm not even having to be careful with it. I'll just, <laughs> I won't do that with any of my other pen knives, but. I mean, it'll do it. It's hard to get across on video, but yeah, I had to put quite a bit of force in to make it do that. That is not a sharp knife at all. I mean, I didn't expect it to be razor sharp. I didn't expect it to be quite that blunt. Anyway, uh, so we've done the scissors. What have we got here? Mm -hmm. Ah, yep, that's your bottle opener. And the tip of it acts as your flathead screwdriver. Move some of this rubbish out of the way. That is fairly standard. It's a little smaller than normal attachments. Let's see if I've got another pen knife somewhere to compare this to. Yeah, here we go. So, well, here's two examples of other pen knives. They all follow very much the same design. Look, if I lay these out next to each other, it's pretty much a universal design. This is just a full-size standard pocket knife. It's not a fancy branded one or anything. It's just a cheapy, cheap one. It's in, it used to be a nice red colour like this. I've had it years and years. You can see it's a bit battered and worn, but it does the job. And very similar attachments, but oh, that'll come out. Yeah, these definitely need some lubrication on them. All right, must make a point to clean my collection later. All right. Anywho, there they are. So this is what I meant. So this is a full size one. This is another miniature pen knife, but more or less the same thing if you look at them. But yeah, the bottle opener side of it is just that little bit smaller. Now, I'm sure it will open a bottle, but what it's likely to do compared to using a full-size one like this is it will bend the lip of the bottle cap up. So it probably won't do it in one smooth motion like you would hope, you know, just and you've got your beer open. You probably have to peel one side of it up and then another bit. And it'll do it at least twice to get the cap off. It'll do the job for a tiny, cheap pocket knife. That's perfectly acceptable, but that's probably what's going to happen. 
And yeah, the end of it is a flathead screwdriver. I don't have any screws or anything to hand to test these, but whatever. Let's pull that bit out. That is your can opener. I mean, that will do bottles as well, but it's designed, you know, it's slightly more curved and got a pointed edge on it. That's for opening cans. And the other side is your corkscrew. Again, that is smaller. And is a smaller knife, so obviously it's going to be smaller. Oh, these seem to have seized up. So it's the same as the miniature one, but if we pop out the... Come on. Oh, no. I mean, just like, it screws the other way. I don't know if you can see that. It is slightly small, but again, it will do the trick. Leverage might be a bit of an issue getting it out, but whatever. And then... That, that was a bit difficult to pull out, even on the new knife. Let's see how that works on this one. Oh. Yeah, these definitely need some WD-40 on them. Yeah, again... Same sort of thing, slightly smaller. I suppose better for smaller screws, not all screws are the same. So, yeah. And then we'll pop out the last one. Oh, I'm gonna end up losing my fucking thumbnails doing this. And that is your nail file, and then the end is a nail cleaner, so you run it under your fingernails like that to do your cleaning. That one, that's a bit poor. I don't know if you can see this on the thing. Let's see if I can get it in focus. It's just some lines. I mean, it probably will file a nail eventually. But it's literally just some grooves cut into it. It's not a proper nail file. If we pull the nail file up on this one, wherever it is. Yeah, you can see more grooves. And you can tell just by the noise it makes. It's actually filing my nail as well. So that is effective. And that's from another cheap knife. That is useless. But it was cheap. But yeah, I quite like that. I bought it just for the style of it. I like this sort of curved bit to it. I like the little rubber inserts. And yeah, the colouring on it. I literally just bought it just because I liked it. It was an impulse purchase. But yeah, I'm happy with it for the price. The knife, it would have been nice if it was actually sharp. There is no sharpness to that whatsoever. I mean, there's no way for me to show you the sharpness of these other knives. That has no edge whatsoever. No sharpening has been done to this blade whatsoever. That needs to be worked on. But all in all, for what I paid and for what it actually is, just a tiny pocket knife, can't complain. But yeah, especially like the styling of it. It's very nice. So I'm not too keen on... The keyring counting as a function. I mean, I suppose it is, but I'm never going to put that on my keys. I have seen people that carry these full-size ones on their keys. I don't want my keys to be that bloody heavy. I prefer my bunches of keys to be small. These are my keys. I don't want that fucking thing hanging around. I might t attach that to it, though. Because that's very small and light. It feels even lighter than the other mini pen knife that I have. But, yeah, I don't need to carry a, a pen knife around with me. I have them. If I ever go camping and such, like I take them with me. But other than that, they don't really get used. So, well, no, they do get used if I'm doing stuff in the garden. But, yeah, I have no reason to carry one out with me. I've owned pen knives since I was a kid. I was in the Scouts. I've always had pen knives. <laughs> So, and, you know, some really big and expensive ones as well. I've never needed one when I'm out and about, just in general. So, yeah, I'm not going to carry it on my keys, so that doesn't count as a function. Sorry, it just doesn't. Right, let's move on. Let's do the brushes next, shall we? So, what have we got here? Rolson six-piece brush set. Bit of a failure in packaging design there, in that if I put that flat on... This moulding that holds the brushes covers what it actually is. It's all right if it's hung up. You can still see it, but if they could just added another hmm, two, three, maybe four millimetres, 
worth of packaging upwards. That will look so much neater. Anyway, includes three types of bristles, brass, steel and nylon, with durable plastic handle, length 175mm. Let's turn it over. Oh, look, we've got our Facebook QR code again. And that just says exactly the same. Warning, eye protection. Always wear eye protection when using hand tools. Oh, well, it just says wear protection. Eye protection, gloves, condom if you like. Depends what you're doing. Hey yo! Card widely recycled. Doesn't mention this plastic coating, but plastic is widely recycled here in the UK as well. Anyway, oh, throwing stuff around. Right, cut this open. These I bought again on impulse, but these will be going into my car toolbox. I'll get them open and I'll explain what they can be used for later. Take them out. There we go. Discard the packaging. I have to say, the packaging on all these three, whilst it is that annoying packaging that you have to basically destroy to get it open. It's perfectly appropriate, actually. It's just it's just the right size. There's not too much of it, and it is all nicely recyclable. So, yeah, if they could just change the design on it slightly. My view is that that sort of packaging, it serves many purposes. You know, it keeps your products safe, and I suppose no one's going to steal it because they're going to have to make a load of noise and make a scene to open this in the actual store. So I suppose it reduces theft. But the bit I don't like about it is, say you want to return it, they can't resell the product, which, yeah, is bad for the store, and it discourages people returning, say, faulty products. They probably think that since they've basically destroyed the packaging, maybe they can't return it, which is a bit sneaky, as far as I'm concerned. But, right, anyway, we'll come back to that one. So, what we've got here. so these are my two brass ones, these are my two steel ones, and these are my two nylon ones. Now they look like toothbrushes. Don't use them as toothbrushes if you're going to go and buy them. Well, I suppose you could use the nylon ones and it'll probably just be a bit grater, your gums might bleed. Don't use the brass or the steel ones as toothbrushes, you're not fucking Chuck Norris. When the tooth fairy comes to your house, she takes your tooth and gives you money. When Chuck Norris comes to your house, he breaks your tooth and takes your money. And you'll just end up losing your teeth. Don't be a dick. Uh, Alright, start with these ones. So, yeah, okay. It's going to fit nicely in the... Yes, it's a brush. I do like, actually. The ergonomics on that are quite good. See, if I were to compare this to a toothbrush, a toothbrush is quite flat. Because you're going to be putting it in your mouth and going like that. But these are designed for cleaning, well, in my case, I've bought them to clean car parts. Which means I'm going to be going like that. And I've just put that little curve in there. That's quite good, is that? It's difficult to overestimate just how cheap these feel. They are not top quality plastic, for example, but the ergonomics are quite good. I can hold that like that, and if I was scrubbing hard, I could put my thumb on there. And go like that. They're quite nice. Little slot there, I suppose if you want to put them on hooks or whatever, on bits of string. Yeah. That's quite nice. And the nylon bristles are still quite firm. So they'll definitely do me for my purposes. The brass ones. Yeah, as you can see, they're the, the exact same bit of plastic, they're just different bristles in. I'm not going to rub this too hard on my skin, because it will stick you. If you get a metal splinter under your skin, they hurt like fuck. Yeah, they it will go in there and stay in there. But, yeah, they're quite quite firm. And then the same with the steel ones. It's exactly the same bit of plastic. But yeah, they do feel slightly firmer, slightly sharper. So, But, yeah, I bought these to go with my car tooling. Um, because as I'm working on them, the problem is when you're working on old cars... A lot of the parts are carbon dope, they're full of gunk, oil, residue, yeah, I mean, when you're working on newer cars, it's not much of an issue, but if you saw my uh, coolant repair on the Mazda MX-5, I ended up having to buy a pinwheel, which is basically a brass bristled brush, but on a circle that goes on a drill, to clean off the remnants of a paper gasket, and it took about an hour to do. Not, you know, if I put it back without cleaning that off, it was going to leak, so it had to be done, but that's the sort of thing that you're doing. I saw these, and I thought, oh, they'd be useful. 
they're quite small they're no bigger than a toothbrush so they'll go nicely in my toolbox they should last me a good long time as well so yeah these ones the metal ones will be useful for cleaning gunk and you know, the steel ones especially will be good for cleaning off carbon off any engine parts um, so you get them up get your parts all cleaned up nice and uh, shiny and new and that's just the sort of thing that you have to do when you're working on these sorts of old cars each bit needs a lot of tlc and it pays off as well you know you clean up each part and get it absolutely perfect before it goes back on the car it might make a one percent difference overall but if you do hundreds and of little repairs and every do it to every little bit that you touch it pays dividends in the end so yeah those will be quite useful i mean they are cheap bits of plastic i mean they're a bit bendy and flexible but good ergonomics on them yeah you can grip them like that put my thumb on there if i really want to get in and scrub yeah they're all right Right, let's do the last thing then. So this is the, yeah, Rolson again, obviously, two-piece quick change magnetic bit holder. 60 and 150 millimetres. It, essentially, they're extensions for your screwdriver, because, yeah, we all need a bit of help every now and then, don't we, lads? I don't need that pill! I don't need the blue pill! No. Uh, so on, on the back, uh, same Facebook link again. Quick change, a uh, quarter, inch, quarter inch shank with built-in magnet to hold bits securely in place. Accepts all quarter inch hexagon driver bits. And then the rest of it, oh yeah, and again, always wear protection when using hand tools, especially handling your screwdriver, lads. Giggity. Definitely use protection then. But did you use protection? Of course. And card and paper and plastic, widely recycled. All right, let's cut it open. Oh, you know, let's go lengthways this time, shall we? Oh, 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 there we go. Oh dear, I've lost one. Right. Pull that out of there. Very nice. And pop that out of there. Alright, so that is, well, there's not much to these really. Got these weird red end caps on them, which uh, feel like the same metal as the thing. They're the same sort of colour. Interesting. Yeah. And that's the same, but longer. I don't feel it's... I suppose it probably is 60 and 150 millilitres. Millimetres. Not millilitres, Stuart. Yeah, okay, they weren't lying, look. Yeah, okay, all right, measurements are accurate, fair play. That's all it is, really. If you're trying to get your screwdriver in a narrow gap... ...and it doesn't quite reach... ...or you can't get your hand in... You'd use an extension like this. You put one, that end goes in your screwdriver. <laughs> and you put your, the bit, screwdriver bit, in there. Interesting, these little end caps move back. It's not 100% clear why they do that. They don't seem to come off or anything. They just sort of move back, cut a few millimetres. Let's try them out. So this is the screwdriver set that I mentioned earlier. I've had this about 10 years now. It's Rolson as well. See, I told you, they're not bad tools in these. I've got all these bits with it. 51-piece screwdriver bit set. Um, one of them is missing. It's not lost. It's just in my actual drill at the moment. I'll go and get it later. So let's just pull one of these out. And no, I haven't used all 51 pieces of it. I've used less than half. I haven't used anything on this bottom row, but whatever. Right, so that just... snaps into there and then doesn't come back out ah all right clever right that's what the thing does so if you want to you can just force it in but uh, you can't get it back out that's what that bit's for ah right and also i forced that in yeah, that seats properly now. Yeah. So we pull that down. You hear it just snap into place on the magnet. Bring it a bit closer as I do that. Yeah. And then when you release the collar, that's not coming out. That's good because if you're poking this down in somewhere, 
Giggity. Giggity. You don't want your bit falling out under any circumstances because then it's lost. You'll never get it back. Let's try the other one. Yeah, that's the same. We've got to force it in. Oh, that one I can pull out, but it doesn't want to come out. Alright, yeah, now it's not coming out. Maybe it just wasn't in properly the first time. But pull the little collar back straight out. A little bit of resistance because you've still got the magnet at the bottom, but yeah, just comes straight out. Lovely. Alright. Let's put it in here. So and that's a perfect fit as well. The screwdriver is also magnetic, so it's pulling the tool in. As you can see. So yeah, it does pull the tool in, but that's a good fit. Yeah, you see what I mean? That is what you would need to do. So if I was just working normally, that is the full length of the screwdriver. Now there's a bit of a stay still. Obviously, I've got a bit of a shaft on it here. Giggity. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <sighs> This is the last time I do anything screwdriver related. I'm running out of giggities. How the fuck does that happen? Alright. One more. We're nearly at the end. Maybe two more. Mm. Hope I've got enough giggities for this. But, yeah, if you're working, say, on a car interior, all of the screws and nuts that you're trying to get to are tucked away up inside things, so you've got to get this in and... For example, the centre air vents on my Corsa, yeah, the screws are behind the vents, so I'm going to try and get this all the free way in and undo stuff. Yeah, this extension will probably work quite well. Yeah, you put this in. Now, this doesn't look like much. Yeah, and you pop it on. That's already made a significant difference. And because both bits are magnetic, that is secure. I mean, I can... I can pull it apart, but for example, if I'm working, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, and there's a lit, it's introduced a little bit of play into the whole thing. But it's not massive, that's not going to stop me working with it in any way. <laughs> so that's good. And the other one, uh, yeah, just about fits into shot now. So yeah, if I had a, a screw or a, something that was miles away, I can get it all that distance in there and I can still have a firm grip on this to undo it. This one does wobble around a bit. But then again, it is just that much longer, I think. Yeah, that has the same amount of play. It's just that it's more pronounced on this one because it's longer. But again... That's not going to stop me working on it. That is such a negligible amount of play. Yeah. Besides a bit of flexibility, does it good? Because you're trying to thread it into small places. You might need to give it a wriggle to get it in. Dena den re dun hebeldath mithrandir ve on hal hesano. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. That is three things that I've bought. Two of them are going to roll away. And the brushes as well. And my little pen knife. All of them from Thingamabobs in Ely. All of them are this brand of tool called Rolson. Uh, oh, oh like. There we go, there's a piece of packaging. Yeah, Rolson, like I say, dirt cheap. Maybe some quality issues, like the pen knife not even being close to sharp. But you get what you pay for, and I paid very little. These, though, whilst the handles are cheap, I don't care for what I paid. They're going to be very useful. Those are going to be in my toolbox, I expect, for a good long time, for many years to come. And, of course, these things are also going in my toolbox. I'll probably stay there for years to come. They're going to be very, very useful. So, yeah, three purchases, all of which I am very happy with. Oh, now, look, I can't remember what... what all of these bits go back in my little carrier. Oh dear. Yeah. Three purchases, all of which I am very happy with. Very happy to recommend. 
So we shall call that it. I'm going to go and put these away somewhere because I've made a fucking great mess look. Yeah, I need a recycling bin and my toolbox. I'm going to go put this lot away and I shall say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video on Pydini doing stuff and filming it. Please don't forget to press the big button here in the middle to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you liked what you just saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment letting me know what you liked about it. And as always, thank you for watching.